Oh my god, I'm, I just want to look. Don't, Don't look! look! This is like the makeup tutorial from hell. Hi friends, it's Tyler and look who I'm here with today. Hi everybody. Who are you? I am Brooklyn Heights. Wow. Just kidding. I'm Nina West from RuPaul's Drag Race season 11. And wow. more than that, you're not just one TV show. Yeah, Miss Congeniality from RuPaul's Drag Race season oh, 11. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> usually, if I ever collab with a drag queen, they just do me and like by the end of it, I look beautiful. But you saw the makeover challenge and you said, you know what? I'm going to try something different. I don't want Nina Payton in my you face. You know. <laughs> but today, what we're going to do is we're going to be back to back. You're back to back. You're gonna do your makeup. I'm gonna do my makeup. You're gonna lead me through it. I've never done my own makeup. By the end of it, we'll see if like I'm cute. They call me season 11's Plastic Tiara. Wow. You're they call look. me season 11's Soju. We're gonna pop, pop it, baby. Pop it, pop it, pop it, baby. It's the blind leading the blind. So I'm guaranteeing you're gonna look better than me by the end of this. Well, what okay, let's I... start with your glue stick. Glue stick. Pick up Easy. your glue stick. Yeah. What I do is I go against the grain. Have you ever colored your hair? Like a gay in trauma? What all gays going through it do? Yeah, I actually did that <laughs> right after I was eliminated. Really? <laughs> That's why my hair's so What short color right did now. you go? I went like platinum. Oh, and like cut it all off. That's how you know you're going through something. I was like having a midlife crisis. Determined. Midlife. Mid oh. It Ew. <laughs> uh, the reading's already begun. We had, and you don't even have a mug on yet, Mary. Your eyebrows look so don't look. good. Wait, you don't need to have purple on yours. Because mine's drying. Don't, don't, don't look. Don't, don't look. look. Ah! You look so pretty. Oh my god, thanks. So next, what I do is I'm gonna block my brow. While you're blocking your brow, will you tell me a little bit about yourself? I grew up in Ohio I in a really that. small community. A Midwest gay. What's your favorite ride at Cedar Point? Probably the Magnum, because it reminds me of my favorite condom sign. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna hand you this. Okay. <laughs> Where is your hand? Thank okay, so you need to take that. Thank you. So you're gonna use the wand and you're gonna go over your eyebrow. Over the eyebrow. Yeah, you're gonna cover all the way across. Yeah. Just my entire forehead. Yeah, swipe and blot on the brow. So you're basically covering all the hair on the brow. The brow? How far up does the brow go? Oh my god, no, no, what are you doing? What do you mean? I'm like, I'm not looking. No, no, like I'm your eyebrow, your eyebrow, your eyebrow, your eyebrow, your eyebrow. The really brow is like a universal language. You really to, like, have to eyebrow. tell me. Okay, so I've done too much. I think but so. I think it's but that's nothing new. This is Tyler, what we're talking about. So, so then do I take my triangle? Yeah, and then you're gonna blend it. Like pat and blend on your eyebrow, your eyebrow. Oh, your it's eyebrow. supposed to go over the eyebrow? Oh my god. I'm, I just wanna look. <laughs> I can't. I have Wait, covered my forehead. Like, no, but why would you cover your forehead? Because you said over my brow. Brow, I meant eyebrow. I thought you meant over, not over. Okay, I'm <laughs> cover. Okay, I will use my Now words. I understand. I will choose my words better. Well, this you is a to... learning lesson for you. Are you cute over there? Because if you I, are, I'm, I'm not. I'm not paying attention because you've already covered your forehead. I, I thought, don't even know what to do with this. I thought the you canvas said is ruined. Over the brow. So you're going to take a brush that has got a nice thick base. Okay. Sturdy bottom. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna dip it into your powder, like powder. like I can't say like so. You're gonna oh, you know what? I know about this because people do this, and then they go. And you're gonna go over your brow, and you're gonna set what you just laid down. Am I dabbing, brushing? A little dab will do you. Yeah, we're gonna dab it. Okay, that's well, I think that's not what's supposed to happen. Oh, no, it is because we're gonna clean it up. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't even look over at you. <laughs> What are you doing over there? <laughs> you know that a movie where the alien gets struck by lightning? Powder. That's what I look like. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna take your brush and you're gonna powder off all the powder that you have. Take a movement that's big and sweeping over your face mm -hmm. and just get that stuff off. I think it's great. So then you're gonna take your foundation stick. It's gonna be the tube on your table. It's black. No, 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 no. It's like your skin color. Like well, olive. yeah, 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 yeah. No, like the tube. Olive. The, the tube may be black. <laughs> this is like the makeup tutorial from hell. Okay, so you're gonna take your tube. We're gonna do full coverage on your face. Everywhere. All over your face. Every inch. Is there anywhere you don't want me to go? Um, Point on the doll where I shouldn't <laughs> Regardless of how you and I look at the end of this, drag is anything you want it to be. That's beautiful. Okay, so you grew up in Ohio. I didn't live in Cedar Point. Oh, you didn't. You're not a carny. But we know as a young Republican. Oh, I did know that. <laughs> when I was young and kind of coming to terms with who I was, I went to a Catholic high school. Didn't really have the chance or the opportunity to really kind of live in my truth. I lived in a really small town in Canton, Ohio. And uh -huh. I did the thing that a lot of people do, which is like they just want to please everybody and Wait, kind yours? of di distract them. Don't do your ears. It looks like I have taken peanut butter and just wiped it all over my face. Is that I, what it's supposed to be going on? I'm going to guess yes. So you're going to go ahead and blend that in. When? I decided the first day I was in college just to be out and just like not hide it any longer. So it was like first day of August orientation. I was like, yep, I'm the gay guy. <laughs> And then from there on out. From there on out, I was just the gay. The college campus was so small that there were very few out college students. Got it. Now you're gonna take your powder. And you're gonna take that same brush that you used earlier. Yeah. Okay, so lightly. You don't need a ton of powder. You're just gonna lightly go over your face. My eyebrows really look janky, by the way. Oh, girl, I'm so nervous about this. 
You can see my eyebrows. Are you supposed to? For the sake of this video, we're gonna say yes. Your eyebrows are allowed to be seen. Now you're gonna find a brush in your box yep. that's gonna look like this. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our contour. Find that spot in your ear. Go to the bottom of your ear. Like the little dingly thing in the- The dingly thing is that the direction I'm going is to the corner of my mouth, but I'm not going that far down. Does okay. that make sense? Halfway? Yeah, about halfway. Okay, so with the brush, you know, the, the, you don't need to like, you don't have to press hard. You can just do them real soft. You don't yeah. have to go too hard. So you're just gonna kind of lay out where that cheek is gonna go. Okay, now what? <laughs> what do you mean lay out? You're putting the contour on. So you're, you're, you're marking where your cheek is going to lay. Okay. So this bottom part is where it's going to go. I have to say, going. my lines that I drew are not cute. <laughs> is that bad? No, girl, because you're just going to be that poor unfortunate girl in the corner. Oh, but we're going to go first, over them in some first way. First time right? in drag. This is more challenging than anything you did in The Amazing Race. Oh, <laughs> it's more challenging than anything you did on Drag Race. Uh -huh. Please, thank you. Tell Eyebrows are tough, so we're get, what I'm going to do Easy. With, what I'm going to do with you is... Can I, I have gonna, one curious eyebrow? Babe, like, you can have two curious eyebrows. <laughs> I am and look, so curious. And look absolutely perplexed. Okay. So you're gonna go to your inner eye. Inner eye. At the top of your brow, you're gonna put a dot. Just one little tiny dot. Okay. We're gonna make your eyes a little bit bigger than they actually are, because drag is all about being bigger, larger than life. So I have two dots. Wait, well, how do you have two dots? Wait, you said, said what? Said only just, one? Oh, wait, oh, because you're doing the other eye. Yeah. Got it. Okay, okay got it. Right. Normally I wouldn't do it like this, but because you're a big gamer. Right. It's basically a connect the dots. So yeah, you're gonna yeah. dot. Oh, another dot up there. So you're putting a dot up here. Yeah. The peak of your eye. I got one big vein. Can we cover it? Where's this vein at? Oh, no. <laughs> no. How pointy is the top of my eyebrow supposed to be? God, I still want to look at you. I, I look terrible, eyebrows. but I've connected no. the dots. <laughs> it looks like two houses next to each other's roofs. Oh, wait, I'm... yours are very curved. I just saw. So I'm going to round them out a little. Yeah, I mean, you like a brow. <laughs> Babe, your face looks so muddy. <laughs> You gotta find a brush that's kind of got a thicker bristle. Like no, it's just like just the one. This mm, one. Not this no, one. that one. Get into your pot, and you're gonna get white on both sides of the brush. So basically, what we're doing is we're creating the highlighter underneath your eyebrow. Underneath, we're going underneath. So we're going underneath the brow. Okay, so from the time you did drag for the first time, did you know you were gonna be a drag queen after that? No, I never, no, 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 no. Drag was not a thing for me. There was such a misconception about drag queens when I started. There was a moment where I understood that drag was just as viable an art form as doing theater. I really started to come into my own being gay and understanding what it meant to be gay and understanding what I wanted my queerness to mean. How did you get Nina West? How did you get your drag name? <laughs> I was in college and I was super inter like into my feelings and so I was listening to a ton of Nina Simone. That's where the name came from. And West is my drag mother's last name. Oh my God, my eyebrow looks chunky. Oh, you want to talk chunky? Oh, chunky yet funky. Uh, so now Am I we're gonna, doing something. Yeah, I'm ch can I? <laughs> All of a sudden, you get what brush in your hand and you're fucking Raven. Not Raven, Simone. Simone Yay. Let's say it right. You know what I'm finding about your palette? You really don't touch the pink. You haven't touched the orange. We haven't really gotten there yet, Mary. Well, okay. We're going into black. We're going to do the outline of our lid. We're going to go to the outside of your eye. And you're going to go up and you're going to pull that up on an angle to the base of your brow. Like just a little bit. To thin. where the orange thin, to the brown thin, was? Thin. And you can't blend black in, is what I'm finding. No, so that's why you have to go slow with the black. You're going to start on the corner of the inside of your eye and you're going to outline basically kind of your eye socket yeah. up to where your male uh, brow hair would be. Male brow hair. Brow. Brow hair. You're gonna connect to that cat eye line that you did. Huh. Okay. Well, here we go. Go ahead. Can I ask, when did you fall in love with drag? Right now. When you started to feel like a woman. How far am I, am I supposed to go off? So you're going to the bottom of your brow. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Do you? This is your doing. You know that, right? So like, whatever happens today, forever will be a picture <laughs> of you. Sorry. Don't look! Oh! Don't look! Okay, so just keep going up. So you don't fill it in yet. Can oh, you... don't fill it in. Oh, well, yeah. Did I say fill it in? No, but I didn't. I didn't, but I was like thinking about it. I didn't ahead. do it. I put my brush down, so hopefully your brush is down. Brush is down, ladies. Brush is down. No, okay, I'm just kidding. Keep going with your black. Like I'm in the SATs right now. So yeah, I had a political background. So uh -huh. like my parents wanted to run for office and be a Republican, and it just wasn't uh, in the cards for me. I went to the Republican National Convention in 1992. Um, like, Stunning. Stunning. Girl, love. How was the grinder scene? So good. It was like Often. a little You were like, hello, Craigslist. <laughs> it's me. 1992, girl. This there's is no Craigslist in pre-internet. Oh. I'm sure there's like a technique to this that people have. I don't have a technique. As I know your viewers are now established. They're like, Nina West doesn't have, she has no idea what she's doing well, when she's painting her face. They knew that before. It's confirmed Ooh. now. And so when I came out, I knew, like I was the president of my gay student organization in college. I was very vocally active 
previous to drag. The drag just kind of brought more, more of it out of me, it gave me more of a platform. But I knew somewhere in my life, I would, regardless of drag or not, my calling was to raise my voice and fight for queer rights. Who is your pop queen? I have like five. No, Adele. No, no, no. Adele. 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 Number Adele. one. Despite Rihanna sending you a DM, you're I still love Rihanna. Like... No, that's a thing. I love Rihanna. Like, don't get have me you wrong. Met Adele? Beyonce. Adele pulled me up on Madison Square Garden. Okay, um, sorry. Well, no, because like I was dressed like her. Oh, so we're gonna go five down, three over to that really deep purple. Do yes. you see that? Stunning. Okay, so you're gonna take an angled brush, preferably a clean one. Well, I didn't. I have a okay. new just go for it, girl. Okay. The corner of your eye, you're gonna go up. Yeah. So above, the, uh, completely above the white, <laughs> but below the brown. Just do what you I'm... think looks like drag. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Well, wish me luck. Is it gonna touch the brown? No. Oh. Then what? On top of the black, where that purple is, I'm just going. I'm taking purple there too as well. Am I connecting to the black? Yes, you are. Tell me about the EPs because it's a big deal. So the first is a comedy EP. It's called John Goodman because it's basically like kind of my love of celebrity and every song has a celebrity type, like it's named after a celebrity. Like it was a song called Hemsworth because I'm obsessed with Chris Hemsworth. Then there's a kids album and a kids EP, kind of teaching kids about drag and uh, lessons. Right? There's a song on it called The Reading Song and it's all about drag reading, but also reading a book rather Cute. than reading a friend. A lot of people that would be opposed to what you're doing would be like, you can't do this in front of kids, they're gonna be so confused, blah, blah, blah. It's not that complicated. Like, people well, play dress up. Bam, well, you explained it. And that's the idea, is that kids are much more intuitive and much more in, in, attuned to what drag is than you think. Right. It's not like you're tricking a child. So take your white, you're gonna dip it back into your super white, your powder. Not the, not the setting powder. Oh, you're so adorable. It's like a little kid who gets like Play-Doh for the first time. You're like, I don't know. I have it, and I'm here, I'm, I've got it. You're gonna go ahead and go back into your crease and really pop your white you back out. You keep talking about a crease. It's Which crease? Inside you? your eye. Go know? over it again with some white. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, God. I didn't see you, but I saw someone off camera go, oh man. Well, you really are trying to make a lot of lines here, and so am I, I guess. But And I think I'm actually succeeding. So, did you feel like you look beautiful? Ah. Uh, well, how many years did you do drag before you tried out for Drag Race? I tried out for Drag Race for the first time in 2009. Wow, and how many times did you try out before Nine you Nine times. Drag? Every time I was told no, I was able to go work on something else that was really important. I was able to develop a gigantic stage production shows in Columbus. I was able to develop my own Nina West Foundation, which wasn't in place when I first auditioned for Drag Race. Rejection right. is good for you because it makes you go, well, what else do I, what else can I do? I was able to cultivate and um, build my career by being told no. Thinly, in a very thin fashion with your thin brush, yeah. you're gonna go underneath your eye, your, your tear line, your tear duct line, just follow that black all the way yeah. across the bottom of your eye. How has drag changed, do you think, from when Drag Race first started and when you first started auditioning to now? Drastic. Drag is all over pop culture because of this show. People want to be affiliated with entertainers who are part of the show, and, and celebrities want to be judges on the show. Not only that, drag culture has changed dramatically. We now have Instagram you know, and social media and this huge presence and personality and other areas of opportunity, more so than just nightlife. Now, I do believe that drag, a lot of its growth and its grit come from being you know, in the nightlife and working in bars, gay bars, and knowing what it's like to work within the community. My question is, has Drag Race done fucked up drag? No, I don't think Drag Race has fucked up drag. I think Drag Race has given the world drag. I think the world is digesting drag in its own way and in turn causing there to be complications with how people view drag. What is the biggest misconception about drag that people have? Drag is not just all about look. There's so much more to drag. And oh, so thank much God. Well, I mean, obviously. Today we're proving hey. that point, ladies and gentlemen. Enough. Drag is about the heart, and drag is about the soul. In its own right, Drag Race has created a community. I look like I got beat. Well, is that is a good thing? Hey, Don't look. Bitch, your mug is beat in a bad way. How do you feel about how the finale of Drag Race has become Okay, what's your reveal? The finale of Drag Race is like every drag pageant I've ever been to, which is, what is your reveal? Really? Like, drag pageantry is another thing that kids should look into that existed for 40 years before Drag Race. Pageant queens were the celebrities of the community. Is there a theme that you wish would have came out of RuPaul's mouth that you know, like, you know what, I got this? Kind of a once upon the time theme. Sure. Which is more fanciful and imaginative. The more creative the challenge, the better, because that's my wheelhouse. Um, Did you underline your eye? Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay, with black. Yeah. What drag queens that have been on the show have you always looked up to and loved? Latrice. Yeah. Uh, Sharon Needles was uh, a game changer, I think, for the show, and also showed me that you can be 
kind of anything. Oh, I love, love Pandora. I love her idea of drag. It's everyone who definitely stands out as an original. Right. I think those are the girls that definitely speak to me. Oh no. Oh no. What'd you do? Nothing. Your contact? What'd you do? No, nothing. Don't worry about it. Who are some queens that you love that deserve a moment on Drag Race? My favorites. Crystal something something from Columbus, Ohio. Crystal something something? She's a cut her teeth in Brooklyn. She's like crazy club kid. Like insane beautiful art. My drag mother Virginia West. Sherry Pie from New York City. She's so funny and fun. Tina Burner from New York City. There's so many girls who are built for it who just haven't had the chance. And that's what makes this opportunity so rare and so incredible and you feel so lucky. At least I do. I have full, fuller lips than you do. We're doing lips right now? Yeah. I have no lips. Okay, so, so it's kind of like so whatever I, I want. I mean, no, 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 no. It's oh. not whatever you want. Go slow. I dream of an upper lip. Oh my God, now's your time to have an upper lip. Hold on, but don't let it start. Like, can I explain this? I did not touch. I'm not touch. Okay, so you're gonna start in the corner of your mouth. Right here, Cor yeah. pick a corner. Because you don't have much of a lip, I'm gonna encourage you to draw just a little bit above your lip line. I have fuller lips, so I'm just kind of following my natural line. Hey. Ding. Well, I'm having some trouble. There we go, there's something going on there. Do you have any drag kids? Like 18. You're gonna be 19. What? You're gonna be number 19. Oh Tyler. my god, she's fertile. A man walks by me, I get fertile. Hell yeah. Ew. Hell yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. What does it take to be a West? You have to possess natural talent and ability. I'm there. As well as you have to be community minded. Pretty much everybody in the West family is pretty much an activist in some way or another. I love that. Uh, we have trans members of our family who speak out on trans rights. I mean, so it sounds like West family values include um, social responsibility, social responsibility, natural talent, or lack thereof. I mean, some not everyone's good. Who's, who's the worst person in your drag family? What's your drag name? Bah! Bah! How are your lips looking? I have an upper lip. Did now. you did you draw? You just have an outline, right? Because we can color. I, in. Well, I've been kind of coloring. I gave myself the lip. God decided not to. Maybe there's a reason why God decided not to give God, you. God, yeah, God. And we're finding that out right now. If I blur my eyes a little, it looks like it could be a very tiny mustache. Oh no 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 no! This is your first time ever painting, correct? The only time I've ever really dabbled was I thought I was putting on perfume, but it was pepper spray, and I was only like three or four, and I had to go to the emergency room. So I haven't touched makeup since. You are my act of kindness for the day. Oh my god! Uh, you're gonna take a brush that's kind of got. It's, it's gonna be a little bit longer. And you're gonna contour your nose and just down the middle. I'm just watching you move. You're so fearless. You're like, yep, yep, yep. Well, baby, this you're is like you're like this, this. I'm ready to go. And suddenly she's got a nose. I would think it'd be appropriate if you take this shimmer. That costs tens of dollars. Don't oh. spill it. Oh, all so, of your earnings. I, <laughs> Dap it on the very tip of your nose. Then you're gonna do uh, on the cheek where the bone is, on your cheekbone, and then you're gonna blend that down. Yeah. With my finger? Yeah. Okay, what I would do for you is I would wash it off and never do it again. But, do you have your lashes? Uh huh. The best way to explain how to do your lashes, and I do it really fast. Why don't you just throw them on? Babe, just throw them on. Ooh. Oh! Stunning. Now really? I'm a woman. Honestly, I think I glued some of the eyelash to my eye. I think you did. I mean, I think I'm pretty done. How do you feel over there? Based on everything you told me to do, I think I'm relatively done. I had a hard time instructing you today. You know what? Thank you for taking ownership of what I've just ah! done. <laughs> As the newest member of the West family, I'm excited to see Bitch, what- Bitch, I went east. I hope you didn't go south. <laughs> yeah, I went south. <laughs> Are we ready for a reveal? So, oh. a lot of work went into this. Is know. it going to be better than the makeover challenge on Drag Race? You might get sent home today. <laughs> I might get sent home. I was home. sent home on that episode. I was sent home on the makeover ah, episode. We are now we are supposed not to be doing, doing this, this together. No. On the count of three. Okay. What if I open my eyes and you look terrible? <laughs> three, two, two, one. one. <laughs> you don't look bad. <laughs> What's wrong with my lips? You saw what I had before. You look like like you could be a Reba McIntyre person. <laughs> Reba McIntyre is getting that KFC money, Colonel Sanders, bitch. So <laughs> how are my eyelashes? First time I in drag, like real. Not... Okay, well I would lift the lash. Oh, you've got pointers. The eyebrow is like it's like this. How eyebrow. do you have eyebrows? Oh, see now when I look at them next to each other. Yeah, you did it right. I, did, I hope I... so. I have a surprise for you. First of all, you're gonna have to go put these butt pads on. Then you have an outfit for today that you get to try it. Are you ready for this? Yes. You haven't even seen it yet. I'm so excited about it. I simply oh, must. Oh my. my. What God. the fuck? Is this for me to keep? It's yours. Well, I'm not gonna wear it. What am I gonna wear this? A Tyler Oakley well, dress too. Mini, mini would pay a lot of it money to do that. Inside. You're gonna catch this on eBay in one day. Look at you, Look Project Runway. Look at your itty bitty titties. Oh my God. Itty bitty titties for you, Project 
look, bitch! Look Thank you, that. Patrick Howell, who may help me make this happen. Thank you so much. What is yours? I, is it your face? Yeah, oh. I, I've never worn it. I've never worn it. Okay, well, I feel very ready for uh, the transformation. <laughs> do you want to do some touch-ups on my face first, and then we'll, we're going to go get into drag, drag, drag. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> okay, grand reveal. The West. Family. Yeah. Hello. Hello. You look amazing. I feel the most beautiful, <laughs> most incredible. I honestly. When you got the wig and the dress on, you became a very different person. It's which a, is the magic of dress. It's just kind of who I am. It's just kind of who I've always been. You <laughs> look know? at your body. <laughs> it is so good. This padding. Take it and soak it up. Just soak it up. Take yeah, a drink bite. Drink it. Drink it. We need a name for you. Okay. Well, so you're gonna be something west. Something west. I feel like they should just like come up with it for us so that we don't have to be creative. I love that. Why love don't you that. drop a name suggestion in the comments and let's come up with Tyler's new drag name. Thank His you. West drag name. Thank you. Also, if you like this transformation, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I am sorry for what I did to my face. I hope it's not representative of the family. Don't worry, it is. Thank you. If people want to find you, you're on oh. what? Twitter, Instagram. Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all YouTube. at Nina West. Yeah, okay, YouTube, I'm gonna yeah. put all of them below. Be sure to get all of Nina's music on where? Oh my gosh, Apple? on iTunes. Yeah, you can listen to Spotify? it on, yeah, on, on Apple. Wherever you listen to music, you can check out Nina West. Oh. The two albums are called Drag is Magic is for Kids, and the comedy album is John Goodman. Go listen, go love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you. Okay, bye, friends. Bye. I'm never taking this off. I think we need to go to pavilions. I gotta pick up a couple avocados for my for the guacamole. Oh, I've, I'm got, gonna make a, I've got a couple for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amy.